On this training, we will be doing uh, entering photos and attachments to your listing. So uh, you're going to obviously have already put in all your information into the data input sheets, and uh, we have the listing up. Um, the next step is to go to Manage Photos. So you're going to click this guy, and you're going to browse for the photos. You need to make sure they're in the proper sizing. If you're using one of our professional photographers, they'll already have it set up for you that way. Um, and we will take all the photos that we want. We have more than what we need here. Let's see. I do not know why that's not taking it all at the same time, but let's just do this. So first off, uh, the primary slot always has to be a house front. Um, it is required, so you do not have a choice. You can't show that beautiful kitchen. Uh, you do have to show the front of home as your first slot. We always encourage you to also put the best five photos in the first five slots. Um, those are the ones that people usually use to make a decision on if they're gonna move forward or not with the house. So make sure you have your best foot forward in that situation. Um, also, uh, you should not have your agent sign in the front photo of any house. You should not have any marketing materials or any uh, signs or whatnots in any of your photos. Um, it, it, it's against the MLS rules. You're not allowed to do that. So make sure that your sign is not in there or your agent writer is not in there, um, that we're just clean on the front of the house. As you can see, it takes a couple minutes to get these all up here, which uh, it's loading these in one by one. Uh, when you do slide them, you do have to be in the head bar. A lot of people try to slide them from here and it, nothing works. So you do need to kind of grab them from where they are and slide them to where you want them. So you have to grab the header bar and then you slide it to where you want it. And uh, I might be doing too many things at the same time. I think I'm all right though. And I'm once again going to pick the best five for slot one through five, 18, 19. Let's hope we get a house front in here. We're going to have to delete a couple of these, probably these attic photos or something. Nice. Bright blue skies look fantastic. Yeah. Are you going to the concert? Come on. Uh, so once again, make sure that your best five are in the top five here. Yes. And uh, this is taking a very long time. I'll see you there. All right. So then we take this guy and slide him to where you want him. And I think this is fine. You might want to get rid of a couple of these photos, but I think this is a good representation of the house here. So we're going to go ahead and try to find a couple more that look really good. This one I like. And like that. We'll put one of these kitchen ones in there. Even though it's not a great kitchen, it's still not a terrible kitchen. So and we'll get this one back in the top five. Uh, you can go through and label each one if you want. Uh, I used to do that. I don't do it a whole lot anymore, but it, it's truly up to you if you think it's going to add value. Uh, once they're all in there, um, you can see there's 27 photos in here. I don't know where the other couple went. Looks like they're 
we tried to upload two. So there's two that didn't make it, um, but we got the front. The other ones were front photos as well. Um, if we don't like one of them, we can swap it out later uh, to freshen the look. So um, all we gotta do now is hit save. And then the next thing is we're going to manage the supplements. Uh, this is where you upload your PCD and lead. Uh, so we're going to call this uh, PCD, property condition disclosure, and then lead. I scan them as one so that the agent doesn't have to download two. Nowadays it's a little nicer because it does auto pull those in. Um, we're going to go, I have, I pre-scanned this. Um, once again, I scanned them both together so it's just one file. Um, you can choose the type, which this is uh, the uh, property condition disclosure. I'm going to put that on there, and we're going to hit upload. So that's in there as well. Now we're going to hit save. And now we have all those things in there. So now we're going to go to single family input form. And we had put all this information in here. We're going to actually submit the listing now. And now we're on live with this. And we can tell that by going here. And you can see that this should say A for active. And you can see our listings up there with all its beautiful photos. So now we have a live listing as of today. Uh, any other questions, call me direct. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I will talk to you soon.